Tonight, the largest single wildfire in California history on the doorstep of more historic small towns. Everything that I own is now ashes or twisted metal. That's just all it is. Lightning strikes fueling more flames and powerful winds up to 50 miles per hour, spreading the Dixie Fire's grip across bone dry grounds. 540,000 acres in size, the Dixie Fire has more than 29,000 people under evacuation and has already destroyed at least 1,100 structures. The scale of the Dixie Fire is just so unique. The extreme fire behavior that we're seeing here and across a number of incidents in the West um, does continue to make it unique. It is currently the biggest blaze of more than 100 wildfires nationwide. Resources stretch thin in the heat of wildfire season. Nearly one quarter of all wildfire response in the U.S., 6,000 people tied to a single blaze. We do have a shortage of critical positions like division supervisors, like our dozer operators and even line medics. That's a critical gap and a concern in terms of just how stretched thin we are nationally. Exhaustion is setting in on the front lines, a firefight to see thousands of homes at risk. Fire Chief Bob Orange even facing a close call at his own house. The house was just, uh, it was a vibrant glowing red from all the embers on it. He worries about where this fire goes next. I said the other day it was a monster and it continues to be a growing monster. Still, Chief Orange considers himself lucky. Some of his colleagues, like volunteer firefighter George Wally, head to battle every day with no home to return to. I didn't know where I was, whose house is what, and it was just a wasteland. Amid choking conditions and at times triple digit temperatures, firefighters call this blaze a marathon, not a sprint. The Dixie Fire raging on for more than a month and is less than one third contained. Jose? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.